Hello, and welcome to episode two of Shatter. We are now on the run. Also, for some... Okay, there we go. That was weird. It was a sucking. <laughs> and I wasn't holding down the suck button. So yeah, um, now we escaped the enslavement area, I guess, and now we are running away to try and find a way to help all of our friends who are still being used to produce energy, presumably. I'm sure you saw a couple blocks that you didn't that I hadn't explained in the last episode, but I'll explain them here. First of all, these green blocks are affected by your suck and blow powers. And yeah, they generally slowly fall towards your side of the screen. These and a few other blocks later are generally what you have the shield for so that you don't get hit. Because if you get hit, then you get temporarily knocked out of the area and then you won't be able to collect your ball. So there's that. Uh, these yellow blocks are the other things. I'm actually going to shoot eat. No, I don't have... Oh, not using my... <laughs> yeah. These things... These things are... Actually, I don't know if they're affected by your... Hmm. Hey, I'm going to test something. They are. They are also affected by your suck and blow powers, except they also just have physics, so they will fall towards you. They will just they will just fall towards you, as if this left side of the screen is the center of gravity. Yeah. Uh, I guess we can talk about a couple other things before we find anything new. Uh, the reason I chose this game is because I actually, I really like this game, but it's... I feel like it flies under the radar a lot because, one, it's basically Breakout, or at least that's what people see it as on the surface. But I just find it to be a little bit m more unique because, one, it has a story mode. Like, how many how many Breakout games can you say have a story mode? They have level systems, but they do not have a story mode. <laughs> and or bosses. That and one... Or, or that was one. Oops. <laughs> Two, the music is phenomenal, honestly. And if you're looking for any of the songs that are in these videos, they are the names of the songs are the same as the name in the title. Because, yeah, um, I'm gonna shooty these, but yeah, this is a level. <laughs> it's all circular and stuff. And another thing, actually. No, not this. Not in this one. Uh, yeah. We're in a circle. <laughs> this is another th unique thing I like about this game. It... It has... It kind of plays with the idea of a breakout game by having it in a circle like this. I don't know, I just think it's kind of neat, and... I wish you got a little more attention. Because I really like this game, but it's not really, like, a big deal. I don't know, I'm just trying to show people that this game exists. So, yeah. Uh, this blue thing in the middle, not the ones on the outside, they... It actually is, like, another gravitational pull. It... Uh, makes blocks circle around it. And if you are to hit that block, which I'm going to try to do... Come on. I don't want to shoot you. I just want to hit this block. It makes all of them scatter around. Yeah. I'm actually going to... Never mind. <laughs> I was going to try and get that block to hit me so that I could use the shield and actually show it how it works. But I mean, it's not like it's hard to understand what a shield does. And actually, this, these particular um, 
sections are really good for the maneuver ball because since they're circles, you can actually like you can aim things really well well off of the sides. You can you see as I am failing to do so. Okay, oh jeez. Uh these I guess octagonal blocks are actually they're actually two blocks and when you hit them they split apart. So yeah. I'm also gonna shoot Eve because these sinkers are gonna fall on top of me and that's not gonna be very good. Yeah. Here I'll use the shield real quick. See it just stops you from getting hit. That's the other thing I should mention is that if your bat gets hit enough times on a level, it will actually I don't know if it'll explode. It'll just get knocked out and it will make your ball fall. Which, also another thing. Uh, can we really call this a ball? It's kind of, it's it's more like a half hexagon. If we're being real. Yeah, I don't know. But anyways, this is the part where I shut up and let you listen to the music. Blocktopus! Yeah. I mean, I you can see where you're supposed to hit. And this one is a lot different because you can't really use the shooty on this one. And I guess this is a, an example of one of the things that Unstoppable can't break through, which is like boss barriers. Really, the only thing you'd want to use the shooty for on this boss is to break the tentacles so that you can actually get to the head. But even then, it doesn't really help a whole lot because it's still kind of like you have to maneuver around its head because if you can see that the part where the tentacles come out, is act there's actually like a little ridge and you'd have to get it around that. Also, the boss music's pretty good too, so since this one is probably going to take a little bit more time, I'm going to shut up for this boss too. There are a lot more dynamic bosses than this one, so this is the best one to do it on. Aha! Take that, Blocktopus. And to another bonus level. Oh man, my shooty's full. Maybe I should shooty. Except that I can't. Uh. Yeah. I think. Well, I'll let, I'll let you listen to the music in this area too once, but then I think I'm gonna skip this because these are really just for score.
So there you go. There is the end of the second episode of Shatter, and I will see you for the next one. Goodbye.